gonna do a uh, full facial scan of me. Whoa! Plenty it's Eiriger talking. Yo, wait. Mm. Are you done with the photogrammetry, Rick? Almost. Can I see? Mm -hmm. Damn. When we were partaking in Good Like It, we wanted to prove that we could scan a character. So we got one of the girls who was hosting it, well, ladies, Ada, because she had a beautiful face. So we had her sitting in just a normal office chair. We took a bunch of white sheets, put our lights behind them to diffuse the lighting. Then we cut a little hole in the middle of the sheets so Dota could stand there with a camera. And then we had Freki lying on the floor, slowly rotating her chair around. And we actually got surprisingly good results from that. So the next step was, of course, for Magnus to sell all his bitcoins to buy us more cameras, because obviously... Is it true you sold your bitcoin for a photogrammetry, Rick? Yes. Any regrets? No. I bought 18. There were 18 cameras. I yeah. bought 18 cameras. Oh boy. I had five bitcoins. <laughs> well, you gotta make money to lose money. Wait. We bought 18 cameras and put up our first rig. We made a vlog about it. It will be linked up here. Yes. Right. Freki still had to lie on the floor. It's a bit awkward for people to have a Freki between their legs, but you know, it happens. That didn't really become a problem until we wanted to do whole bodies. As Freki, Freki is small, but he's not as small as a body. Well, you know, we had to be able to turn people while they were standing. Me and Tore spent one weekend, we were like, oh no, what can we do? And then we thought, oh yes, of course, cheese platters. So we got a little cheese platter, got a garden hose and some rope and screwed it to the cheese platter. And then we could slowly turn people around. After that, we were like, oh, maybe we should find something more smart and found an awesome turntable from Crayfish. Then we moved to the new office. Well, the old new office now. Pretty much all the same things. But now, Joey has been working on something pretty grand. Uh, for one thing, we made this structure to hold all the cameras. Well, previously we were using tripods, which was problematic because they moved around a lot. And aside from that, we doubled the amount of cameras. So we have 36 cameras instead of 18. So we now have cameras 360, we don't have to put our actors on turntables anymore. We were previously rotating them 45 degrees, getting 360 degrees that way, but now they can just sit down, which is nice. Uh, previously we were using flashes, which were fine, but they were kind of annoying to use, because sometimes one wouldn't fire. So now we're using these lab tubes that uh, are just constant lighting, so we kind of know what we're gonna get when we're shooting, which is also we're not as strong as the flashes, so we're gonna, we're gonna get a few more lights, we have a chair, so people don't move around as much. And that's about it, really. Everything else is ready to go. Have we done any tests? Yeah. Do I have to be taller? I don't think that's within your means. <laughs> you always been doing a bunch of tests. So uh, we're gonna do a full facial scan of me. And and then Tamne is gonna quick rig with his magic, get like a kind of uh, easy rigged me face that we can then use to like we can place me in assets or just I'll be an NPC or something. Well, first we have to make sure all the cameras are in focus and uh, well that's kind of it really. Then we just take the pictures. I'm getting a nice hat. It's because Yo doesn't like my hair. No, I hate. Oh, that's better. So do you want like the roots of my hair to be visible? Uh, this is fine. We need the bald cap because hair is super thin. Uh, reflective geometry and the cameras have a really really hard time defining what the hair is so we just strap it all down and then we make the hair in post. Is my neutral face so sad? You ready? Mm -hmm. Okay one two three go. Yep. Uh, yeah we have a sparse club. Sparse club. You probably want to stay over at Yoas, it's the same screen. No. Now we have... Okay, looking good. Wow. Oops. Yeah, looks nice. nice. I mean, this still isn't a model, it's just a cloud of points. Yeah. But 
still nice results and we're just gonna clean up the stuff that kind of went in from the background because i don't want any of that i'm just cleaning up uh, what i assume is probably the wall or something and then we can process the actual model but yeah this process is a lot more smooth than it was uh, when we were scanning our first sectors this used to take so much longer with the old setup yeah you could be here sometimes like the whole evening just processing a scan right so next we're gonna build the texture and because we haven't bought more lights we're gonna do some fuckery discard giga photos that have shadows mm -hmm. so we just get rid of maybe half the photos and then we're good building the texture takes the longest time the first time you do it so i'm just gonna disable a couple of cameras and build it again and see where we're at Fine. and uh this time it's gonna be much faster because we already did most of the stuff yeah i can definitely see where there is beard there's more noise so uh we did a thing cool. you always been making stuff behind your back and done as well it basically made the coolest model uh -huh, into see. the project I see where this is going would you call it your magnum opus is this what you've aspired to like in your in your time in school and as you're kind of thinking about your career as a character artist i'm pretty confident to say that yo has reached its yeah. peak and it's just downhill and down me. like from here it's just like the hobbit trilogy it's like you know <laughs> whoa blend it's eight a good talking <laughs> no this is awesome this is so awesome about one day for me, I think Tony spent like an hour or something. So this is going to be the, the new speed metric for every single character in the game. Where's our producer? <laughs> <laughs> <It's been>, uh, <clears throat> no, this looks really, really great. I, I'm, this is amazing, guys. No, but this is, this is really, really good. Who, who's, uh, who's speaking though? Who's the character Stanley. that's... Uh, he's doing Laura Mipson. Oh, he, he's literally reading Laura Mipson. Oh, sorry, yeah, Corporate yeah, Ipsen. Corporate Ipsen? Yeah. yeah, way better. Am I the first viewer? I'm on uh, it. Everyone's seen the scan. Except okay, I'm the last viewer. <laughs> the only thing I feel is missing is like scattering, but everything else is looking super tight. There's different inspector edits on the lips. This is a days of your work, so I know you already know this. I feel like we need to push this further. Mm -hmm. Like I feel like we need to add a body and put him into a scene. So AK, do you think you can put me on a scavenger? Sure. If you want it. Do you want to see your 3D model? I want to see my 3D model. <laughs> this is a cool dude. <gasps> oh my god, it's so wait, uncanny. Wait, what? What? Uh, what? Oh my god, it's so... Uh... Okay, this is so weird. <laughs> this is my life as a thug, I guess. Mm. Yeah, we did. <laughs> <laughs> is it rigged? No. <laughs> no, okay, then don't rig it. Don't spend any more time on it. How long would it take to rig? <laughs> <laughs> we could put a manager, huh? We could, or like in, in the game, we could, we could find a spot for it. I mean, you've done the work, so I'm definitely getting into the game. Which yeah. was the whole reason why I pitched this vlog. <laughs> you end up in the game, I'm gonna go out of my way to kill you. It shows you care. <laughs> <laughs> it does. We are currently doing a game jam. We are going for a holiday shopper. It's Black Friday and you need to collect all the deals that you can before the mall closes. Good shit. <laughs>